Use the dot product to find the angles between the two vectors. A is 2i plus 3j, and B minus i plus 5j. First thing you want to do when you encounter one of these things is sketch yourself a little picture. A looks like this. It lies along the line 0, 0 to 2, 3. B lies along the line from 0, 0 up to negative 1, 5. So these are our two vectors. We're looking for this angle in between. Now the first thing to notice is that you can do this with trig in two dimensions. In two dimensions you could say, let's let this angle be beta. Beta can be found as the arctan of three halves. That's 56.3. Now what we really need is this angle in here plus this angle over here. This one would be 1 and 5. So if you call this one gamma, then gamma is the arctan of 1 fifth, which is 11.31. And we know that the angle that we're looking for here, theta, is going to be 90 minus beta minus gamma, or 45 degrees. Now, in two dimensions, you can do this. In three dimensions, it simply doesn't work as well. So let's look at how you can use the dot product to find these same answers. For any two vectors, the dot product of the two vectors is the magnitude of the one times the magnitude of the other times the cosine of the angle in between. This is what we're looking for. So we can, using just arithmetic, find each of these items and take only one trigonometric inverse to be able to find theta. Remember, trigonometric inverses didn't always used to be as easy as your calculator. Let's start first by finding the magnitude of A. Using the Pythagorean theorem, that's 2 squared plus 3 squared under the square root, or 3.60555, the square root of 13. The magnitude of B is the square root of minus 1 squared plus 5 squared, which is 5.09901, or the square root of 26. The dot product you find by multiplying the i components together and adding them to the multiplication of the j components. This is 13. So we can solve for the cosine of theta is 13 over the square root of 13 times the square root of 36, 26, which is 0 0.70710678 Amazingly, theta is 45 degrees. Again, this is much easier to do if you don't have a calculator. You might notice that that's the cosine of 45 degrees, but finding the arctan of three halves might not be something you carry around in your head.